Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Hey, please check out everything, Sorgatron.com, SorgatronMedia.com. And if you're looking for business services, if you need help with some of the stuff that we're talking about on here, go to SidekickMediaServices.com. Sign up for the newsletter at any of those sites, and it gets uh, all the blog information, everything. Uh, we talked a little bit about my uh, closing days here at Seclair. And uh, really looking forward to seeing uh, what's coming up on that newsletter and seeing how you guys like it. What, tell me what you are liking about it if you're already signed up or what you would like to see uh, in the newsletter. Uh, just a, a, a direct line into you. Uh, so, hey, you know, I talk a lot about organization in here. I'm talking about scheduling. Um, I've had issues. Sorry, people and clients and friends have had issues. I've had to dance around this. I've been, I, I, I've been doing a lot. I've been, I've been trying to turn it up a notch here in the opening months here of 2016. And uh, that has led to um, overbooking, double booking, misbooking uh, things on the calendar, which has been an interesting dance for me, whether it be guests for these shows, uh, for these podcasts, whether it be, uh, you know, uh, shoots that are going on that I didn't see the confirmation for. And I was like, oh, hey, that starts in 45 minutes. I should probably get in a car. Things like that. And just little miscommunications that happen. So uh, I, I'm forever looking to better this process, of course, right? I'm always, you're always looking to better the process. And part of that process betterment has been this uh, site that's popped up uh, that, that I, I've checked out called Vite, Vite.in, V-Y-T-E dot I-N. And it's a pretty spiffy, uh, it's pretty spiffy uh, 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 website here. It's scheduling. It's, we've talked about before, um, um, Doodle on the Awesome Cast. Uh, I talked about this briefly after about 24 hours with it last week on Awesome Cast as my awesome thing of the week. And this week, we're just kind of uh, looking at it. Uh, after a week into it, I've, I've used it for scheduling awesome casts. I've used it for scheduling Wrestling Mayhem show interviews. I've used it for video shoots. And it's been pretty nice as I'm getting used to this whole process. And I think the important thing is uh, it seems to work out. And, and, and most of the time, the people on the other end, um, it's made sense to them as well. Uh, so I definitely recommend it. Uh, so I've been kind of looking at it here. Uh, if you guys are on video with me, you can see a little bit of my scheduling, a little bit of uh, uh, some of our, our, our videos were scheduled. Uh, and also, the other issue that we have, before I get into how this solves it, is especially, you know, hey, uh, you know, you, you maybe as you're setting up meetings, you get into these chains. We've all complained about these, uh, whether in the corporate world, whether you're freelance, whatever the case may be. Hey, let's go have a coffee. Cool. What, what dates are you available? Cool. Would you like to come my way or I can come over to you? I don't even know where you're at. You know, <laughs> there's this kind of like awkward email, one question at a time back and forth. So I've had the multiple question thing and not half in about half of them get answered. So I don't know. And it depends from person to person what you need to, to, to decide to do there. How, 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 how do you get all the answers you need from an email? Right. And, and, and email communication in that line is pretty broken as far as lining things up. This is nice because I can go in here, uh, uh, vite.in, and um, I'll actually uh, take a peek in here and uh, we'll create a new event. You see I have a couple going on. I love this kind of desktop metaphor kind of thing. It's, I, I know it's kind of big and kludgy. It works very well even on, um, even on, uh, 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 on uh, uh, mobile, uh, which really kind of surprised me. So let's say we're doing a meeting and I'm going to invite somebody like, uh, oh, let's see, I'll invite uh, my wife here. We're going to go have a coffee or something like that. Uh, and this isn't even the right email address, but that's okay for these means. Uh, so we'll suggest dates and pace, places. And right off the bat, we can uh, suggest one or more date. And it interfaces, if you had this connected into your Google Calendar, and I don't, I'm not sure if there's much more than that. And I actually use Google Calendar as my base uh, for my calendar system. And then um, I, I kind of let it uh, uh, come out to sunrise.am. Which is a great, really great program. Unfortunately, <laughs> sunrise is sunsetting. Thank you, Microsoft, for buying that and making that metaphor. Uh, but it's going to be integrated into Outlook, which I, I really recommend how it is because I like how um, you can send invites for events and they're really nice looking for people. And 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 I've had a lot of people really uh, be impressed with them uh, from Sunrise.am. And it's an app on your iPhone. It's an app on Mac. Uh, you can get to the web version on Sunrise.am. Uh, but if you go in here, and unfortunately, it's not populating right now. Let's see what my calendars are doing. Um, I think it's just kind of taking a while here. Uh, but you're able to go in here, and it'll populate your, your calendar, typically, not this time, obviously, uh, with all the other things happening in your calendar already, whichever ones you've turned on. And I can go in here and turn on 
um, you know, all, all the different ones that that would be affected by this. You know, obviously the one that reminds me when my bills come out doesn't need to be on. But the one that, uh, you know, maybe maybe slides around uh, space at the hardware store and when I can uh, what I can uh, or work hard Pittsburgh and when I can rent out and or, or, or book out as far as uh, conference rooms or green screens or podcast studio uh, time. And in uh, other other copies I had, other options that I have, and I can actually go in here, and we'll pull this up for you guys visually, and suggest several times and dates visually across the calendar. So I can go suggest a few things, and I'll, I'll dance this around what's convenient around my schedule, and try to uh, you know it's going to show me typically what else is on my on my calendar. I'll go and save that, and now we have a nice list for uh, people to to select as options. And we can suggest places. And again, we can go in here and I can pump in uh, somebody's address, my own address, a coffee shop address, and uh, really kind of populate this with a few options, which is kind of nice when I don't know where somebody's coming from. So maybe I'll, t I'll, I'll, I'll suggest the place over by me, the place that's uh, uh, kind of on the outside circle where I can travel in a day or, or some place that, uh, uh, you know, that's close to things that I'm shooting by for the day. Um, now, if it's if it's something I, I can't uh, one complaint I have, and this is kind of an extracurricular feature, I feel I would love to say on Thursday, I'd love to meet you at 10 o'clock uh, at, at Zeke's Coffee in East Liberty as an option. Right. I can only put the locations and the dates. I can't put let's do this location on this date. Or if you're available Tuesday, I'm in Beachview, let's go to Brew. I feel like this is a problem that not very many people will have in comparison. Uh, let me know if you do. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about. Um, but that's the only problem I've run into there. So in, in the end, you have a nice survey that goes out. And then you even have, uh, you can't see it much on this because of our screen size. Uh, but you have information flanking here. And you have a bit of a chat window that happens on the right. And I think we can bring it up here. Yep, there it is. Uh, and and it can be a conversation, a further conversation about thoughts and more information about the meeting or whatever the case may be. Well, how about if we do Zeke's and East Liberty on this date? Like there you can do that. And that generates into a very nice email on the other end. Now, it's a Vite email. It's not like a from me email. So it gets a little different. You got to make sure people are looking out for something like that. But all together, it's a nice package. You can see what's happened. You can see when you get an email when somebody's voted for something. And when you go through here, and I'll kind of just peek through to some of the stuff that we've confirmed. Or maybe that is up in the air. Or let's just do this one. Uh, you'll actually get. So we have like two people, say, on, on a meeting. And you'll see these circles with, okay, I'm the blue dot. So we see that I voted for this one. That person voted for two of these. And, and I, I haven't figured out because it goes to confirm an event. And uh, I, I just kind of unvote all of my places since I introduced all the voting process and confirm from there. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I hit confirm, I can just pick one of the things and we see that's the one to go. And it'll let you know if somebody hasn't confirmed, uh, you know, put a selection in, it'll say, hey, so-and-so can't make it. And it's really nice about that process. So if you're having issues with scheduling, you want something that's nicer, uh, if you're like me and have a ton, a pile of, of, of invites that you need to do, um, I think this is a really good option for a lot of people. It's brand new. I, you're not paying for it. I don't know if this is going to become a paying service or anything like that, uh, but it's, it's very introductory at this point. Uh, I imagine it will probably get bought by uh, the Microsoft or Google any day now, and then uh, we'll just be in another. Oh, and here I just found. Oh, they have Pro. Okay, I'm just discovering this right now because I happen to click on something, and you can actually go to uh, if you're if you're signed up here, uh, you can go to my Vite page, and this I just discovered. Uh, so now they do have an Vite in Pro free trial, and this is actually where I've first seen a uh, a Pro version of this. And you can set up a Vite page. So, hey, right here, I'm going to set up. Wow. You can go to vite.in slash sorgatron, and I'll fill out the contact info and everything as well. We'll create that bit. We'll go there, and, whoa, 14 free trial. Fully customize your design. Set a weekly availability to restrict times for meeting requests and more. Oh, let's go to the Vite page and see what it looks like for now. And he's going to bug me again about the free trial, but there you go. Uh, I have a page now that people can go to, say, hey, let's meet for coffee. 
and they can suggest dates and places and a message and request a meeting to me. Now you have a place you can put that. We used to do this with Doodle, actually. Uh, I can put this on the bottom of an email. Want to meet with me? I can put this on my website. I can put it on on my newsletter. I can put it on any kind of correspondence and say, "Do you want to have a meeting with me? Do you want to want to have a coffee with me about X?" Um, you know, this is the way to do it. This is the way to get started. Uh, now I'm getting some comments actually going on here uh, from the chat room. Our boy Alex out there in California here on this uh, uh, mid-Tuesday afternoon, uh, which means it's Tuesday morning for him as we're recording this. He uh, says he, uh, he just started using Vite for his own scheduling needs. It felt nice. Um, if you have the means, he highly recommends using it. It, it is so choice. Uh, he does like that you can throw in Skype usernames and Google hang Hangouts in there as well. That's been really nice for uh, getting interviews going for AwesomeCast because I can, I can tag on there. Uh, Google Hangout, and I put a little note, friend, and I give my email address um, or or uh, or the address for the studio, and I say pick one. You know, as you go, I'm good for this date, and I can come into the studio if, there, if there's somebody local, and that's been really nice as well. Um, but yeah, it, it, the Vite page is is free. The pro stuff seems to be um, you know a little bit more to it. Uh, the, you know, again, a little bit more customization. Um, there's a you can you can set some kind of uh, blackout zones. It looks like. When you get in here, weekly availability, customize your design, uh, advanced Vite page features, uh, like links to your personal pages and passwords for, for uh, my assistants. Um, so, so, so a personal assistant can log in here and have their own individual password. I think that's really nice uh, to have that ability. Check it out, Vite.in. I highly, highly recommend it at this point a week into it. I only screwed it up once. It's a better ratio than just me left to my own devices. Thank you so much. Basic Sorgonomics, Sorgatron.com. Make sure you subscribe to us. All the links over there on the post. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.